Good morning, Greyhounds, or afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're watching this, and welcome to week two of our um, coronavirus lockdown in our online lessons. I hope you're having a great day. If not, I hope it gets better. Oh, we got a Kaiser in the room. Here he is, guys. He wants to say hi. Hi, guys. My name's Kaiser, and he's been very needy lately. I don't know why. Anyway. <laughs> so... Let's get started. Um, so what you're seeing on your screens here for U.S. History Week 2, um, some of it has been posted already and some of it is newer stuff. So let's start from the beginning. Again, all my videos are posted on my channel and that's a clickable link. Um, to do, you should have by Friday of last week completed your Manifest Destiny painting, okay? In which you had to look at this painting and answer some questions. If you have not done so, you can still do it. It will be late though, it will be a late grade. Second thing that is due um, in two days, this is Wednesday, is to play the Oregon Trail game and screenshot your high score. And like this guy did here last year, um, make sure you have your high score. And make sure that um, you don't have to be in it. It just makes it so much cooler if you are, all right? So you have to, and again, there are some questions about this. To get this screen that you see here on Eli uh, that Elijah is showing you, at least one person from your Oregon Trail adventure must make it, okay? So just be aware of that. If everyone dies on the route, um, it won't give you a high score because no one made it to Oregon. So just be aware to get to this high score screen, one at least one person has to um, live. You have to complete the Trail of Tears web quest by March 23rd, okay? Now that is to, uh, today, okay? So I gave you extra time on this just uh, in case you needed it. Um, it's been posted and most people have completed it. This is new. So in your U.S. history textbooks, the ones that you've checked out, okay? And if you weren't at school, you're going to need to go and check this out. And to call the office ahead of time is really important. Students, public, even teachers aren't allowed in the building anymore. So you're going to have to call ahead and one of the custodials people, Miss Miller or Mr. Maxwell, will grab this textbook um, and check it out for you if you did not get one. But in this check textbook, you will need to read chapter 13, okay? In chapter 13, you need to read page 386 to 412. It's not a super long chapter. It's not that bad. You know, there's lots of pictures and maps in it, okay? It's not all reading. And you need to finish um, and complete your form of questions, and I'll show you what those are, by Tuesday, or by Friday, excuse me. And that is, making sure I got the right one. Owned by me. This is everybody that's turned in their things. All righty. Oh, I'm sorry. It is a Google form. Here it is. Apologize for that. Um, it was in Google Docs. A chapter 13, North and South text reading. Okay, you have some multiple choice question, questions. You have an essential question for each section, okay? And so there is four sections to this chapter. Then you have a couple document-based questions. I just screenshotted them straight from the text for you, and I did type them out. You do have to answer these last two using race. That means that you have to um, restate, answer, cite. That means I need quotes, okay? So I need quotes from this, um, and E, explain your quotation. Okay, and that is due, and looks like someone's already turned it in. Okay, and that is due Friday, all right? So back to our lessons. So you're going to read chapter 13, there's your pages, and you're going to do your Google form by Friday. Okay, next up is to watch the video on Crash Course History and answer the video questions on Google Classroom. So... These are your questions, okay, and they are posted on Google Classroom. This is assignment is due Friday as well, and the video for um, to, you're gonna have to watch a YouTube video. You can click this link here. I also have the link live here. You might have seen this guy before in my history class and in Miss George's class. We use him a lot, and there are um, ten questions to answer. From Hi, this video. I'm John Green. This is Crash Course U.S. History, and today we're going to discuss how the United States came to acquire two of its largest states, Texas 
And there's another one. Mr. Green, Mr. Green, I believe the answer you're looking for is Alaska. Oh, me from the past. As you can clearly tell from the globe, Alaskan statehood never happened. No, I am referring, of course, to California. Dan, are we using your computer? So, this guy, he does talk quick, okay? He gets very excited and does talk quick. So, you, you are allowed to pause this as much as you like and go back to this, and you are filling in these questions that he's going to answer. And I did put them in order for you, okay? So, it should go start with number one and go to number 10. Uh-oh, Kaiser's barking. I think the mail truck is here. He does not like the mail truck. Actually, he really likes the mail truck, but he's not the biggest fan. Hey, Kaiser, it's okay. Upset, Kaiser. I'm sorry. The barking never stops. Kaiser. I'm going to pause the video. Hey, guys, I'm back. And so is Barky, Mr. Barks a lot, Kaiser. Yes, we do. We The male lady was here, and the male lady is like his favorite thing in the world. Uh, she gives him treats when he's outside. Okay, so sorry about that. So again, back to the video. You're going to watch Crash Course. Oh, my gosh, it never stops. <laughs> Greyhounds, I'm back for a second time. Sorry, there was the male lady came back to the door. To give Kaiser a treat. So now he's happy and hopefully the barking stops. So back to the video. You're going to watch this guy, John Green, Warren Expansion video. It's a short video. It's under 15 minutes. And you're going to answer these questions. Okay. So it's about a minute per question or so. It's even less than that because there's 10 of them. Okay. It's, you can pause at any point in time. All right. So next thing you're going to be working on, um, and this has been posted for a little while. Okay. Um, so this is going to be like your second week to complete it. And I did move back the date even further. So you have till Sunday to complete this. That's the 29th is your manifest destiny test. Your manifest destiny test is open note. You're allowed to use your textbook that I signed out to. You're allowed to use your flashcards. You're allowed to use those online notes. You're allowed to use any of these videos. You're allowed to reach out to me via email to ask me questions, okay? And the Vanifest SD test is like this. It's two sections, okay? The first part is multiple choice slash select all apply, okay? Scrolling down, and you can see 19 people have already completed it. You have a question with the territorial map growth. Scrolling down, you have some Alamo stuff, and you have a painting, okay, that which we looked at recently, and you're going to have to answer some questions regarding that painting, okay? So that's all you've got going on today. Again, it's not too bad, or this week, I should say. So the Manifest Destiny painting was due on Friday, so that should be done. You should, by Wednesday, complete the Oregon Trail and have a screenshot or a picture of you completing it, Okay. And I'll mark that off and I'll start putting these grades online. Um, I've been grading. I just have to I need to put them online next. Um, complete Trail of Tears web quest by March 23rd. Okay. That was an assignment from last week, but I did give you some extra time because it was your first week. So we're starting to get used to this online learning. Next, you're going to read your chapter 13, pages 386 to 412. And if you need this textbook, you need to email me and I will make arrangements with Mr. Maxwell or Mr. Ethan um, to grab it out of my room and that way you can pick it up at school if you did not get one. I checked out almost everybody a textbook, but there was a few people that were absent that last week of school or that last day of school last Monday. Okay, so you need this textbook and you need to read page 386 to 412 and then complete this assignment. Okay, then... Once you're done there, you're going to watch your video with John Green, answer the crash course questions. And last but not least, you're going to complete your manifest destiny test. Again, this is open note. Okay. And that's all you have for history week two. I should say all you have. It's all, there's a lot of things going on for my intervention people. Okay. For period two or three, excuse me, period three intervention people, you should be in chapters three and four of the time machine. Again, you can read this book yourself or you can listen to the audio book. I have the link right here for the YouTube. The guy does a pretty good job, I think. Um, you need to complete your AR log and also you need to complete your reading passage with race questions and work on study island math. The race questions or the reading passage, and um, if anyone else wants to read it besides my intervention, people let me know. It's a pretty good one. Um, 
it's an article I read and I kind of turned it in for a race question for you. Why everything is closing for the coronavirus and it's called flattening the curve. So um, essentially, to summarize what this is about, and it's kind of a current event, the reason why um, the governor and the president are putting in these stay at home orders is so that way, instead of having this giant spike in coronavirus cases that we flatten the curve. So that means less, okay, over time. Um, and that way our hospitals and healthcare workers um, aren't flooded with um, the coronavirus all at once, okay? And so far from what I've read and heard, Ohio is pretty much ahead of the curve here. And they've been comparing us a lot to other states that are a little bit further behind us and acting and doing these executive orders. Um, and it's actually starting, it's really working. So we're starting to see the number. Um, so we're starting to already flatten the curve here in Ohio. So that's why it's important to stay home. And um, Greyhounds, that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, please reach out to me via email or remind you guys are doing great. I am very, very, very excited with all the work that's been coming in. It's been great work. It's been fun for me to grade. Um, so I really appreciate you guys um, really stepping it up during these times. Thank you so much, guys. Remember to wash your hands. Keep your social distancing. You're doing a great job, Greyhounds. I'm really proud of you. Um, have a great week. And if you have any questions at all um, regarding from the test or any of these um, these assignments that I have for you this week, please reach out to me. Um, we'll talk to you soon, Greyhounds, and have a great week. Thanks, Mr. Little, signing off.